Okay, I don't know where I really left off on this. It's been a bunch of back and forth with one other item that came in. Uh, you'll see that in a later video. But it's back in the garage. Everything's been pressure washed. The painted parts are all installed. I believe I did show that in the previous video. But now the wiring harness is in place. Starter solenoid hooked up batteries in place as well and this will be the first test of the wiring so sit on the machine just to make it a little easier i'm getting kind of tired this is the day th pretty much day three going at this and working on the tent shed and everything else so let's uh go down there to the information center and we got lights battery light that's always coming on even when the engine was charging that's on but good. Um, I got to do the cutout for the PTO switch still. So that's kind of next, but not today. I'm done for today. I might go do a couple things on the tent shed and do the engine tomorrow. It'll be the engine on the right that's going in. And there's my generator. Uh, the engine on the left will get resold. Uh, the PTO clutch is behind me. The pulley is still on that engine. Uh, the PTO wiring is down through the hole. Uh, this actually has provisions for an oil sensor. So that wiring is all there as well. I would assume it comes up on the information center. It would probably be the top light, I would guess. Let me take the brake off. That's your parking brake. Let's engage the PTO. This has to all be hooked up in what in line before anything will work. Yeah, it'd be that top light, I would assume. Because the battery and the bottom two are coming on the way they should. So I thought I heard a relay click. Maybe not. I don't think there is a re any relays in this harness. And turn that back off and, oh, parking brake. There we go. So there's actually two safety switches on here that are no longer being used. With this harness, since it's an electric PTO, it does not need the deck engagement a safety switch, which is that one right there. And then there's another one right there. I believe that's also something to do with the deck. But I could I could be wrong on that. But everything is all hooked up and back. I repaired the one wire going to the transaxle. So everything's pretty much ready to go. I gotta tighten up a couple zip ties, tuck the wiring harness a little bit better, and we are good to put the engine in. Um throttle and choker right there. The headlight harness does need to be replaced since I need to match the one from the original tractor that this harness came out of, but I need to match the headlight portion. So I'll cut it, splice it, and um, just put it back in the way it was and hide everything under the loom, so. But uh, there we go. So all that's really left on this is to get the engine put in, which I, like I said, I could do today, but I'm getting tired. Uh, late all late days um, put the engine in get the drive hooked up then um, gotta get this cut I would like to do that before the tank goes in obviously so I have room but that's pretty well it just a little bit more wiring the engine and we should be able to hang that big 46 inch deck which will be nice and make sure everything if that's all lining up correctly make sure it spins up and we are just about done with this project then this machine can get sold but this machine will not be sold till the end of the month so that's whenever i'm going to get rest of the parts so there we go i'll talk to him later please keep it red like always and uh please sorry about that subscribe and comment